Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Gracious and welcome to this uh, third part on how to make an envelope card. And again I'm using uh, It Was Night Before Christmas collection for from Graphic 45. And uh, in this tutorial we are making uh, this card. I filmed it when I made it. So this is a sort of a, a pop-up a three-dimensional card. I see I need to glue a bit more down so yeah and I uh, also made another one it's uh, this one here so these are really fun to make and uh, yeah so uh, here I also use some uh, from the cardstock cutouts uh, from the tags and uh, pockets so and uh, also from 6x6 six six paper and 8 by 8 and also some from the 12 by 12 so then we can get started. So uh, the base uh, for this envelope uh, card is the same as uh, the others I made in the series. But for those of you who didn't see the other two, I will show it one more time. And if you've seen it, you can just uh, fast uh, forward. So you need to cut out 10 and 1 8 by 6 and then score at 2. 2 and 1 8 and 6 and 1 8 and here we don't have a 6 and 1 8 so then you can just uh, take a bit of mark here and move it a bit and see where your mark is and then score. So I showed uh, more of this uh, folding in uh, the first video so I will link to it below. So then you can start folding in and here are two lines so we fold them over just to give them a bit, give it a bit of room here on the top because uh, builds a bit up this card here. So we can get started with the inside. And uh, this I cut out from the 8x8 paper and I cut it at um, uh, 7 and 3 quarter by 5 and 3 quarter, maybe a bit over 5 and 3 quarter. So uh, five and three quarter, and then you can score it in the middle if you like to, or you can just take a bit of a wet cloth and go over, not too wet. <laughs> so and then fold it over. So try to line it up here. So. So and then we need to uh, cut. Uh, out a bit and then we can measure maybe a bit up here see here so I do that on on this card I did it on both sides you see I've cut into here but I will only do it on the top in this uh, on this card because I can show you uh, another way you can do it so then you need to cut it up um, let me show you here about uh, one and uh, three quarter here about so and about a half inch in depends on how wide your strips are and so so here about so then I like to take a wet cloth again and you can score here if you like to and then I fold it up so and also the other way so then this can be folded in like so. So that you can do on both uh, sides or you can take a strip of uh, paper. I, um, I have punched out a grass uh, strip and that is uh, from Marta Stewart and I take some score tape on here. So we're going to glue a strip on here. the green paper all the way down because it's uh, thicker and it's uh, a bit harder to uh, fold. So, cut off the rest here. I can maybe, I can maybe cut it off on the beginning first here. I cut out, uh, this is almost at 2 by uh, 5 and 3 quarter. So I can measure here and cut this off. So and then we can 
texture of this one. And cut it off here. And then we're going to fold it in two. And then we fold it uh, almost all the way up here. So you need to hold them together here. So about... Just don't go over here. You can also fold it just a bit uh, here. It depends on how wide you want this to be. So, and also the other way. So, then we get this to pop up like so. So then we are just going to glue on these two ends here. So here I'm using my fine tip bottle again, filled with um, this uh, Scotch uh, quick dry glue and a bit of water. And I will put the link to the cellar below, if you like to know where to get it. I really love it, so I um, use it a lot. Fold line in the middle here, yeah. So, it was a bit too long, so I can cut it off. So, so now this needs to fold out this way. So, so that's uh, just two ways of doing it. So, then we can glue this card inside here. I showed you the template off. So take my this glue here, glue runner. I love this tool here. Fast and easy, but if you need some time to work with it, you can use some liquid glue. So then I take it almost up to um, see from the side. So I can see what I'm doing here. So almost to uh, the square line here, a bit from the edge on top and bottom, so. And then we can take some more glue on this side here. And fold this over. So. And then we can maybe take this on at the same time. Glue this on here. And take some glue on that as well. So, and here you also can make a border strip with a punch if you like to. So, so I've done that on some of my cards and some without. It's, it depends a bit uh, what border I have on the top and so. So, and then we can start gluing this side down here. Or this strip. And this I punched out with a Martha Stewart. It's a new punch. It's, uh, this one it doesn't have a name. Can't find it. So, but this grass uh, punch border is uh, an old one, so maybe it's difficult to find. But there are much uh, or many uh, uh, dies you can use, or you don't have to have a grass at all. You can just have a strip if you like to. So then we can start gluing this down and uh, yeah, I can use some liquid glue here as well. So, but I think I will cut it off here, so yeah. So the folding line is here about. So with this I cut from the 6x6 six six paper and uh, it's about uh, inch wide I think, yeah, total one inch. So then glue this on the side here. So, and then we can glue this on here. Just need to have put something out of the way. Here I see I wasn't all the way precise with uh, gluing this down here. I was maybe a bit too far out from the score line when I glued this first time. But it doesn't matter because it's going to stand up like so anyway. <laughs> it's a bit harder to glue 
down the border now. So, let me try. And I think I cut away this star here. So, and this you can also glue on uh, before you um, attach uh, this paper to here. So. I think I did that with the other one. I just forgot myself here. <laughs> so a bit more. So then we need to fold this up like so. And also in the middle we can just fold the card. So and fold this over. So this is uh, the base uh, for it, and then we can start to uh, decorate it a bit. And uh, here I have some uh, cutouts. Uh, this is a die from um, from memory box, and I used the link of Stella. Uh, it's a new uh, uh, brush with uh, some uh, glitter inside, so you need to shake it up a bit. Because if you can see, maybe here. Yeah, it's uh, embossed this die, so I want to, to pop a bit more up. So I'm not sure you will see what I'm doing here, but I just go random over the embossed or raised uh, places. So just to get it to show up a bit more, I'm not sure you can see it. So try to give you a really close up here. So. So then we can start uh, taking this on and I think I will fold uh, this over here and start gluing it on here. here about. Take some glue behind here. So here you can use score tape as well uh, if you like to. have this fold over as well. So maybe lay it down. I'm not sure you can see what I'm doing here now but so we don't go over the score line side here. So it wasn't straight at all here about. So maybe you can see it from the inside. So and uh, then I fussy cut out uh, the Santa here. And here you can use uh, uh, banners and cutouts from the paper line if you like to. It's a lot you can do. <laughs> I do like to fussy cut. So, and I also have a tutorial on how to fussy cut if you uh, are not familiar with it. So I will link below. I think oh, I'm standing behind here. About cross over. So. So I want a window inside behind here, and also this is also a die from my memory box, but uh, you can cut out something from the paper line and uh, you're blacked with backed with the back black paper and glue this behind if you like to. So but I will have this here. So and also this uh, die in the same series comes with uh, some curtains. So this, all this I cut out from the 6x6 six six, uh, papers. So I 
think I will wait gluing it down on the bottom because I want the um, Santa here. So take off the rest. So this is from the six no eight by eight paper pad. what backing paper I want here. I have two different here so I can try and see what will fit inside here. And I also have this boy here. So let's see that one, how that works. Now I think I go for this here. So this is also from the 6 by 6. Just go right behind here. cut out from um, uh, 12 by 12 and it was the apple and yeah so I just glued that on and I also made a I'm not sure the word is stamen or something behind here so I will glue him down here and this goes a bit over the score lines so yeah I think it will work Take some glue here to lift this up a bit and get in behind here so it mustn't go on the outside here so glue it down like so and um, I also have a reindeer here and this was a punch from EK Success I think and I also colored in uh, with this uh, markers here from um, Wink of Stella and also a nose and made an eye on him. So we can maybe have him running here. So here maybe. Can maybe wait a bit and see where we're going to put him. And um, also have a couple of uh, tags because now it's no place to write a message here. So then I will have some tags inside so I can write a message to the receiver. So this can maybe go inside here or maybe on the top here. I can place them like so for now and see. And I will also have a clock here that I want to go on the top here. So I need to find where the 12 is here. Then we can glue this on. And here you can see I put uh, two of these stripes uh, together here because it wasn't long enough. So we'll cover it up with a clock so that it doesn't show up. So, so I've been playing around with it a bit and I have this. Uh, uh, light here that I cut out from uh, this from the 12 by 12 so I want that in the window so can go right on the side here and also some leaves that go on the top here just to drag up a bit green color and uh, this uh, stocking here cut out from the 12 by 12 We'll loop on the side on the clock here, hanging down. So, and um, so, uh, this is also from the 12 by 12 paper. Let's move this here. So, 
beautiful little boy here. On the side, and uh, maybe have some green leaves. Little boat here. Yeah. Some small leftover green leaves as well. So I think we can glue on here first and see. So just glue here I think about I think I just glue this take this off here under the reindeer. as well. So we can glue this on the top. A bit too much glue I think. Here. So I think uh, this will be enough. So then we can uh, make a closure for it. So then we fold it over. I think I glued the reindeer a bit too far. Let's see here. Right. So I need to move him a bit. It goes on the outside here. works and <laughs> just yeah that works so then we can maybe take this in here and this will go in the folding give you close up here so then this will fold like so and I hope it will work and it didn't <laughs> you see the clock is too far uh, out so we need to change uh, that and take it a bit more in here so I've been filming all day today and <laughs> it's not my day I've uh, done so many mistakes but usually we can fix them so now we'll see how it works a bit more in. So, often when I'm doing this I like to use a repositional glue and try out because then you can see how it works when you fold it. So, And also if you have uh, waited a long time and it's uh, stuck here you can use your heat uh, tool and uh, um, <laughs> I'm not sure the English word um, embossing tool I think it's called and they heat it up and then uh, the glue goes uh, easy off so. so now I hope it will work so we need to have just a tiny bit room here so then we maybe could have, have something on the other side as well but uh, cut out this leaf here but uh, I didn't like it so I will just uh, leave it as it is I think so so now for the closure so we need to have this over like so and here I used one from the sticker sheet and packed it with uh, some black paper so I will glue this only in one end so Out. 
so if you are going to mail this out you have to glue it uh, all but uh, if you just uh, want to give it to a friend you can leave it like so maybe take a bit more glue in here to close it up I think I do that <laughs> it was a bit too little so there about. and uh, now it's black and you can use a white gel pen to write here or you can take a cut out this is from spellbinders and I glue this on and write the address and the name and the you can also use the stamp from the paper line if you're not going to mail it out. <laughs> I don't think the post office will uh, uh, think this is enough, but yeah. <laughs> and also some more de decoration if you have some leftover fussy cuts here. So I can put it on and yeah. Here I have a trumpet that I think it's called. So yeah. So I hope uh, this uh, was helpful and that you want to give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please look below in the description box and just click uh, show more and there you will find the link uh, to my blog where I answer questions. And also to, uh, to my blog where I posted uh, pictures of it and the measurements. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye-bye.